Hello everybody, it's Skipsies. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away a while, but it's been a bit hectic and I'm slowly getting back into the swing of things. So hopefully I will be here a lot more. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna, speaking of not being here for a while, I'm doing a Halloween haul. It's loads of stuff that I got before Halloween and a few things afterwards. It's just one big one. It's from loads of different places. So let's just get into it. My dog is doing something up thank you i haven't filmed in a while so he's probably thinking what the hell is going on hi hi thank you you missed me <laughs> okay so i have things from tk maxx primark target because they ship to the uk boom boom poundland um things like Hotel Chocolat. Loads of crap, basically. So let's start going through it all because I have no idea how long this is gonna take. I was tempted to actually do it like store by store, like TK Maxx Halloween haul and blah, 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 but I'm just gonna do one big one. So there's a huge box on the floor there at a view of the camera, which I'll get up in a minute because I've still got, like this is all stuff as well. <laughs> what is he? Oh. He's got a pig trotter, that is disgusting. So here are some DVDs I got from Poundland. I didn't know Poundland did DVDs. Can't really go wrong for a quid. So I got Amityville 2, The Possession. Amityville 3. <laughs> Jurassic Wars, Sharktopus versus that word. Infection Z or Infection Z, depending on what country this is made in. And The Conjured. And I've got a feeling there's some more somewhere. Oh, there's one there. Before The Conjuring, there was Annabelle. Also got that. Can't remember where I got this one from. Don't know where to start. Where did I get this from? This is from TK Maxx. This was one pound. They started actually doing the Halloween stuff on sale like a week before Halloween. And I was just like, what? Unacceptable. But these are little treat holders that say greetings from the dead. No food or anything inside them until I do that, but I just thought that was cute. Greetings from the dead, as in like, I'm the dead, basically. Okay, stuff from the Disney store. I got a little Jack Skellington, uh, like, messenger bag, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So look, at there's a little tag, adorable. This was, how much was this, do I wanna know? It was 12 99 not too bad. Front view, which is cute as hell. And there's the little back view. <laughs> so I just thought that was adorable. Cute little bag. I also got this, stays hot for 12 hours and cold for 24 hours. A nightmare before Christmas slash Jack Skellington. Same kind of um, design of him there. Whatever you wanna call it. Oh, this was expensive. Whoops. <laughs> this was £10.99. I think I just... Ooh. Oh yeah, this is mostly drink stuff. Drink related stuff. And uh, then I got this big old drink tumbler kind of thing. Jack Skellington again. And then ooh. And this was £8.99 and the straw has little bats on it. And then if you spent over a certain amount... You could get a mug for free. Uh, not for free. <laughs> I wish. For cheaper. You know when they have stuff behind the till. It's like, if you spend over £10, get one of these for like a few quid cheaper. And it just so happened that they had this one. And it's huge. It's a great size for coffee or something. I mean, it's huge. It was 12 99 and I got it for 7 99 Then I went into TK Maxx. Oh, it's being noisy. Can you see it? Can you see it? So this they didn't actually have out as a Halloween item, but it's obviously one. <laughs> so it's like a coppery or like a white goldy more, I guess. Little pumpkin, you take the lid off. Ooh. Ooh, that went on for a while. And it's like a big old jar for something. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. This was $16.99. Like I said, it, ooh, the lid doesn't actually fit on um, flat, but I don't really care because... I just wanted it. Oh, let's do this one. This is also TK Maxx, as is this bag. This, I saw, again, I think it was after Halloween, and TK Maxx sometimes just have skulls and stuff. I literally saw this guy, and I was just like, I need him, and I picked him up, and I was like hugging him to me as I was like going to the till. How awesome is this? <laughs> so this wasn't on sale, and this was quite expensive. This was $29.99. I think they do it on the website for like $24.99. So they call it, I think, a Centurion Skull Ornament, 
not really an ornament I would say but it is phenomenal look at all the detail in that the spikes and then the, like the mosaic stuff on his helmet type shiny area <laughs> he is just beautiful I saw him I needed him I picked him up immediately the next item from TK Maxx is this little skull mason jar this was four pound on sale I was just like oh snap this sucker up it's called a pirate skull mason jar mango margarita because it comes with a cocktail mix inside it as you can see not very well but you can see <laughs> and I love all things copper and I love all things skull then I got a couple of mugs these are from TK Maxx as well the huge ones got little skeletons see no evil hear no evil speak no evil with little bats and then it says it in there as well and then wait for it boo and they had a few of these but I decided to actually only get two because I don't really need that many so I just got mostly the skeleton ones <laughs> they had other ones with like a pug with like a witch's hat on and like cats and stuff oh and these were £4.99 each well, not on sale but they did go on sale eventually but I didn't get any more and it says happy haunting uh... oh I forgot I got these <gasps> oh okay so these are awesome so I can't remember who got these I saw, that I think it might have been Zoella or someone, but I wasn't expecting to see them, and I did, and I'm just too excited, so I'll just show them to you. It's two little Moscow mule type copper mugs, but in the shape of a jack-o'-lantern slash pumpkin. You can see my reflection there, hi. And these were £7.99 each but they are just so worth it. So I got two of them. These might be my favourite things ever. They're amazing. And they're made for left-handers as well because when you're drinking the face shows. And then I saw something which I've never seen before, especially in the TK Maxx, but it's a cake stand. And it was actually, yep, it was in their sale thing. So this was just like, like I said the week before Halloween when they put stuff on sale. It's a cake stand. It's a bloody Ouija board or spirit board. I saw it and I was like, this is really awkward because I had to carry it back to work and I was thinking, I don't want it to smash on anything because then got to take it on like the tube home and everything but this is just beautiful I couldn't leave it there so many breakables oh, oh. god damn let me see what that was <laughs> this is the big whew. this is the big box I was talking about my dog he's chewing a bone thing oh my god so these are some more DVDs from the Poundland the Poundland from Poundland, Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, a classic, Shaun of the Dead, Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, and finally the Skeleton, ske God damn it, the Skeleton Key. <laughs> this is like a miss, mix, how do you say, it? mishmash, that's, that's what I was going for, of things. I'm gonna start with the Hotel Chocolat stuff actually. They had loads of cute Halloween chocolate and I got this like a few days after and it was on sale, so why the hell not? First thing is a cute little pumpkin, it's called the Yumpkin, £2.75. So it was probably like double that originally or something, but he's adorable, absolutely adorable and all the detail on that is insane, I don't know if you to see that. Loads of detail on that. Choose your poison and they have liqueurin. The black cat martini at the top which is vodka with black currant and licorice. Oh, I did not read these before I got them. The second one is the corpse reviver which is gin, triple sec, vermouth, 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 that's how you say it I think, and blood orange. That one, the green fairy, a shot of absinthe softened in milk. And then the zombie which is probably going to be my favourite. A glug of white rhyme Right, I'm just gonna, I'll go home. <laughs> a glug of white rum with orange and passion fruit. Then I got these <laughs> tiddly vampires. They are absolutely adorable. Finally, Witchney the Witch. And it's got 16 ghoulishly good Halloween chocolate shapes, individually wrapped monster masterpieces, a, a finger on something, I don't know what, a bat, a skull, a cat, a gravesite, and a ghost see there okay there's Primark stuff that I can see but let's just do this bag so this is Clinton's 
cards and then there's paper chase <laughs> this is a big video i told you i'm literally surrounded by crap now okay so this is oh i had more paper chase things somewhere i guess we will find them eventually i got these little bat garlands or a back a, <laughs> a bat backdrop um i was going to pick them up for halloween but i mean halloween is a season as we all know and not just a day so i'm still going to put them up at some point because my christmas is basically halloween themed these can go up anytime but these were five pound and i actually got these for free because i had a five pound voucher on my paper chase card something smells in here I mean, I'm surrounded by Lush as well, so I don't know. I'm just surrounded by good things. And also, you can see what I've picked up right now. Oh, I've got an itchy nose, sorry. I've got an itchy nose and like an itchy eye right here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so this was on sale, I think, at some point. I hope it was on sale. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is a little Yankee candle. You get two, are they called votif candles, I feel? One is Witch's Brew and the other one is Forbidden Apple. I think that's what I can smell. Something like that. And it comes with a little votif holder, which is a little pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern thing going on. There he is in the back, that's better. Original price was £12.99. I got this for £9.99. I kind of wanted to get a Yankee Candle thing anyway. And then I also got a mug from Clinton's Cards and it's a little cauldron and it says Witch's Brew on it. And this was originally £8 and it's still £8. This wasn't on sale. Okay, then I got some things from Primark. I can see Sainsbury's, I can see Target. Um, I don't know if there's anything else under that. We will find out. I got this from Sainsbury's, the DVD of Beetlejuice, and it's got this amazing uh, sleeve to it as well, so that's obviously the original cover. But they're doing these sleeves and they're giving like numbers of like classics, classic films, and you can collect them, and I just really loved the cover of this. It's like a really smooth cardboard. I love it. And I don't think I had this film, and so that's obviously something I needed to rectify. Okay, this is from Primark. This is a little eye and cheek palette. It's makeup. It's probably not going to be good. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not expecting big things because I feel like it's marketed towards much younger people. I don't know. It might be good. You never know. So I mostly obviously got this for the packaging because it was cute. And then ta-da! So it's like choose your elixir. And they were mostly shimmers and I don't really mess with shimmers. They're all right. <laughs> I wanted them. So I got them, like they've all at least got some shimmer to them. We've got like a blush, I guess, called Spell. And then we've got some kind of golden brown, which I'm guessing is a bronzer called Sorcery, but it looks kind of sparkly. I mean, let's just do a few of these, right? Let's just see. So Abracadabra. Oh, actually, that's <laughs> actually quite impressive. Uh, oh, there's a tattoo there. Forgot about that. Let's just, God damn it, I'm filming videos after this. I need to not be a total mess. Okay. Okay, let's try one more colour. Let's try one that looks kind of matte, but not. Um, it's like a purple. Let's go here, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's not much colour actually to that one. I don't know. I'm probably... Well, I mean, I might use it. <laughs> I just wanted it because it was cute, alright? It was Halloween and I was getting excited. And then just look at I me. Mean, look at all that crap on me. Let's just rub that on my trousers. It's good as new, kind of not really, but let's keep going. Then from Primark, they had some cool home stuff. This wasn't marketed as a pumpkin mug, but it's a goddamn pumpkin mug. We all know it. We all know it. It says a glass jar with straw, but the straw is striped orange and black. And then this is like an actual pumpkin. So this was £2.50. Harley is, you can hear that, right? I know you can. Ooh, from Primark. Oh, shh. Okay, we have some chokers from Primark, which is quite good because I don't have one on. We have this spiderweb one, which was a two, nope, two English pounds. Then we have this little set of three chokers, which was three pounds, also from Primark. And I kind of love that middle one. Do I dare? Should I put it on? Um, how am I supposed to undo this? Oh, I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh, I've got one half. Oh, that's a shame. It's not completely straight. Um, let's see how it fits. How the frick am I doing this? Hold on a minute. So, um, I'm not even sure how this came off because the gap in this is nowhere near big enough to like fall off of this. Maybe that one. No. Not in the mood anymore. 
Okay, uh, what else? Was, this was from Primark. Awesome, all right. So it's kind of like an ombre effect. So it's like see-through here and then it just goes more and more like, what's the word, opaque. And this was three pounds. I also got this from Primark. If you've got it, haunt it. It's a big old candle and it's three pound. Oh, this is from Primark. <laughs> this was four pounds and I mean, it's still got the tag attached to it, but you get the idea. Kind of love this little netting over my eyes, the bride of, I don't know, death or whatever. Oh yeah, I also got these because, I mean, who could resist these? So this was £2.50 and kind of adorable if, you know, if I'm gonna be honest. This was from Primark as well. It's a spiced pumpkin candle, one pound. Didn't really smell nice in store to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't smell like pumpkin spice really, but it smells kind of festive, so I bought it. Then I got this from Sainsbury's, I think. Yeah, Sainsbury's Home. It's a little hanging skeleton, skeleton um, which is like a mummy. I love these little guys. I got some last year from Sainsbury's. One was a bride and one was a groom. They had those again this year, so I just got this little dude. Then I got this trick or treat bag because it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. A little bat. Here are his little orange wings, his little face, and then he's like blushing, but blue. It's cute. How much was that? I hope it wasn't that much. I had no idea. And then I got the pumpkin one because I can't resist a bat or a pumpkin. Primark, we have some socks. Two pound for five pairs. We have skeleton feet. We have skull and crossbones. I feel like these are like for kids. Hold on a minute. Age seven to 10. Yeah, so I saw them and I wanted them anyway and I thought, well, they might fit. Lightning bolts on a gray. Then we have some more and then just like striped ones. I'm always losing socks and I'm always just, just somehow they disappear. I don't know how it's a sock fairy or the sock gremlin, they just do. Oh, this is from Primark. This is a wash mitt <laughs> for the bath. And I, it was cute. How much was he? Two pound. Another little pumpkin mug from Primark. I think this is another one of these. I think I got, yeah, I got two of these and two of the pumpkin. Okay, and now we're getting into the Target stuff, which I feel like might be the last stuff, apart from all of obviously Lush and stuff, which isn't in this video. Um, so this is from Paper Chase. Oh, I just found some food. This is from Primark. Oh, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> So this is from Primark. I think this was, you know, like a quid or something. I'll probably eat that in a second. There's a ghost, there's a pumpkin, there's a little Frankenstein monster head, and I don't know what that is on the top. A bat or a spider. And then this is from Paper Chase. This is a stationery set, which I thought was adorable. So you've got like a rubber with snake on, you've got some gold pencils, pencil sharpener, some tape, some paper clip weird things. We've also, I don't know what this is, we've also got some like, they're big clips, like alligator clips. Part of me's wondering if I can put them in my hair, not gonna lie. Uh, we have, I think they're more like, I think these are like um, drawing pins almost, they're little skulls as well. And then I don't know what these two are. That was 10 pounds. And then, then I got this, which I forgot about. This was six pounds, this was expensive. This was six pounds from Paper Chase. I mean, it's cute, kind of. I mean, the nose looks a bit weird, to be honest. That's gonna bug me now, I've noticed that. Um, but it's like a paperweight, I think, maybe. Finally, from Paper Chase. I bought a, oh, it's polystyrene, damn it. I bought a skull, it's like a velvet. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I don't wanna get it dirty. Oh, that's beautiful. See, that's what noses should be like. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to, oh, that is gorgeous. This was 10 pounds and it's a money bank. It's got like a slot right there. This is beautiful. I don't think you'll be able to see as much of the details. Like maybe you can, I love this. Okay, I need to put this somewhere where it won't get a dog hair on though, because you know, like, that type of material just attracts all the hair. And then it's stuff that I got from Target. So I got this from Target. I don't know what it is. I mean, I kind of do know. <laughs> I think they call it like a, cl a cloche or a clock or, let me see, a C-L-O-C-H-E. -C cloche. It's a little a dome almost, and it's got a couple of red, I don't know what type of flower that is, but it's got a little skull. Damn it, I don't, there it is. It's got a little skull right here. And that is definitely going back there. I love it. 
and all the stuff I got from Target. So it's one, two, three, four, five things. I think it came to about £60, including postage. It was about like £35 for all the items and then the rest was shipping, but customs was included in that. So I didn't have to pay anything extra. Then I bought two tea towels, which have dog hair on somehow. Story of my life. This is also from their hide and eek range. It's now the skeleton, skele skeleton. <laughs> Saying boo, I feel like he's got a top hat. Yeah, he's got a tiny top hat on. You can tell by the way he's walking, he's like, fancy. So a little tea towel there, and then loads of little skulls on that one. Then I got pumpkins. These did not arrive in the best condition. Target did not put much padding in this box, so they were kind of bouncing around from what I can gather. I got this small cream kind of studded pumpkin. It says it was like $6, but once again, it doesn't really reflect the price that I paid. Dollars, then pounds, then customs, like included and shipping. It but this was adorable. And they're not heavy at all. I think they're those like craft pumpkins that I hear about. Like the studs aren't all kind of stuck on and a couple on the ones that, spoiler, there's more. I had to kind of realign the lines because they weren't, I mean, even this isn't, the, like there you can see it's wonky. I think that's better. Um, so I got that. The white one didn't actually look too bad, but on the black ones, you can really see like the dents like there. That isn't in a straight line, the studs, which was just driving me bloody mental. And it was worse than this as well. Like I did readjust these a little bit. Oh yeah, and that's kind of more gold and this is kind of more copper. Didn't realize that. But yeah, so I mean like the stem isn't kind of attached fully to the pumpkin. It's kind of like, Ugh. So I might just put them over there the whole year round. Right there. Because I already have pumpkins in my other room, like literally the whole year round. They do look really pretty when they're just like back there, but it's when you like have a close up look, you're like, not the best quality. But then again, I think the dents and stuff would be from like just hitting each other in the post. Those are the two small ones I got, and then I got a big one. But once again, same thing was I think it was really bad on one. Yeah, so that's like a really messed up side. And you can see it's been like stabbed with the other ones, like because those are literally the same distance apart as the other studs bashed up against each other. But it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I do love these. Look at all three of them together, they're so pretty. They're so pretty, I love them. Like from far away, they look amazing. I think that was all the Halloween stuff I got. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this ridiculously long video. Hopefully I've edited it down at least. It's like at the moment it's just gone over 50 minutes, five zero. So hopefully I've edited that down to an acceptable length. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got and um, happy Halloween. <laughs> See ya.